Testing one, two, three. Hi, I'm Augustine. I've been a doctor for the last 24 years and I specialize in respiratory medicine. Hi, I'm Jocelyn, one of the year one residents from Changi General Hospital. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a year one medical resident uh, currently at Changi General Hospital. COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a condition of the lungs that affects the small airways and uh, causes limitation in the airflow of patients. This causes patients to have chronic symptoms and it's also associated with heart conditions and lung cancer and many other uh, conditions. In this video, we'll be playing a game called Never Have I Ever, where we'll share about whether we have or have not uh, encountered certain experiences when learning about or managing uh, COPD. So after that, we'll watch some uh, clips from the medical dramas and then we'll touch on some COPD concepts and treatments. Well, let's begin. Never have I ever heard of COPD before med school. I have not. I think so, yes, I have not heard of it. I have to say no to this one. Oh my god! Wow! Before med school, uh, I thought COPD was something that uh, all smokers would have. <laughs> we often hear smokers talking about their uh, usual cough. But then later on I discovered that COPD is actually the 10th commonest cause of death in Singapore. And about 6% of the population has COPD. Stop it. Get some help. Never have I ever encountered any patients who think COPD is the same thing as asthma. I definitely have. Yeah, we get this a lot actually. Many, many times. Never have I ever seen inhalers being used wrongly. Mm. Yeah, so we do see this sometimes. Yeah, so I actually did have a patient that uh, after sucking in the medicine for his inhaler, actually tried to blow out the same medication through the same device. Definitely have. Well, I recall the patient was using his inhaler and when he passed, he breathes out at the same time. You know what that looks like? Smoking dragon, maybe? I smoke out squares. Of course I have. Inhaler uh, incorrect usage has been seen in more than 50% of patients. One common mistake that I've often seen is patients uh, breathing into the inhaler rather than taking a, a breath from the inhaler. <laughs> Never have I ever had a patient think inhalers are addictive. Well, in truth, I have not encountered anybody like that. But one of the most common misconceptions is that inhalers are used as and when necessary, not in COPD, please. They should be used regularly. Nope, on this one. Yes, I have. Uh, patients think that inhalers, because you uh, breathe from a device, sound a lot like a cigarette. And because cigarettes are addictive, so they also think inhalers are addictive. Did you play the kids? Warning! This video is commentated by a medical professional. Do not try this at home. My asthma. They said they'd fix it, but it didn't make any difference at all. So this clip is about asthma and is often confused with COPD. Because both these lung conditions have symptoms of cough, breathlessness, wheezing, and even chest tightness. But there is a fundamental difference between asthma and COPD. Asthma is a reversible condition and patients have intermittent symptoms. They often have long periods where they actually feel well. COPD, on the other hand, is a progressive symptom. Patients would usually have and struggle with these symptoms on a daily basis and progressively become worse over time. Well, sometimes doctors make mistakes. Anna, you need to try twice as hard to fix them. Are you using your inhaler? All the time. Go through one a week. Wow, using one canister a week sounds quite excessive. If you are an asthma or COPD patient who finds that you are using up your canisters within a week, you should really consider seeking medical attention so that your symptoms can be better controlled. You sure you're using it right? 
Do I look like an idiot? No. Why don't you show me how your inhaler works? Oh, what is that I'm seeing? Well, that's exactly not the way you use it. Inhaler? You use it, well, I guess near your neck, but not on your neck. Through your neck, through your airway, please. The main medication that we use in COPD are inhalers. Inhalers are used to uh, open up the airways and of course reduce the inflammation that's present in this chronic lung disease. And now we have inhalers that do both dilate the airways and reduce inflammation. It is most important for patients to be compliant with uh, this inhaler usage as compliance reduces significantly the number of exacerbations that we have with COPD. So, like what House did in the medical drama, what we really want to do when patients come in and see us is to make sure that we are using and patients are using the inhalers correctly. Well, this helps to reduce waste of money you know, imagine that medication going nowhere helpful and for you to also get better sooner. Please don't feel like you're nagging when we repeatedly ask you about your inhaler compliance and technique at every visit. We hope you enjoyed this video. Certainly we have much fun doing them. There will be a second uh, video on COPD in this series, so stay tuned.